Hey everybody, Nathan Ronan, CFA here with Chalk and Board. Um, I'd like to talk to you for a few moments about the CFA Level 3 exam that's coming up this month in February 2023. But before I do, if you're interested in these updates, please press the subscribe button now. And if you'd like to continue receiving them, press the notifications button as well. And we will continue to give you these updates. Okay. Now, if you're a level three candidate taking this exam in February, 2023, like every candidate, and I completely empathize with you, I know you wanna pass, you wanna crush those essays, you really wanna give the graders what they're looking for, and you wanna get this over with, not have to look at August and not have to retake this exam and move along with your lives. Every aspiration of every candidate taking the level three exam. I'd like to help you with that. So whether you're a candidate in my program or whether you took one of my essay mock exams, or even if you've never worked with me before, I wanna help you to pass this exam. I don't want you to have to look back at this exam again. Don't want you to have to retake. So I'm gonna give you one very important tip based on many years of experience grading the essay mock exams that I've been doing for my candidates, as well as teaching the level three material and the curriculum. When you're doing the essays on the real exam day, Please, please, please focus on the question that's being asked. Don't rush to answer. I know it's a time-tested exam, but if you answer the question and you're not answering the question that's actually being asked, the graders are not going to give you the majority of the points and you may not get any of the points, even if what you're saying is correct. Let me give you an example of how you want to go about this. This is a completely hypothetical essay, hypothetical example, completely, again, hypothetical. But I want to show you the differences in how you need to respond. Let's say you have an essay, a fixed income essay, and one of the subparts asks you to identify and briefly explain two advantages of a pure bond indexing strategy. You want to be careful with that kind of question. Okay. First of all, you want to make sure that you have a section of your answer template that identifies the two advantages. And then you want to have a section that briefly explains, briefly explains like one or two sentences that explains each of the advantages. And number three, you want to make sure that you have two advantages. You don't want to present any disadvantages and you definitely don't want to present any more than two because the graders are not only going to look at the first two that you provide. So there's no benefits to providing three, four or five. Okay. Now that question that I just asked you, identify and briefly explain two advantages of a pure bond in indexing strategy, allows you to sort of take any two advantages that were discussed in the CFA curriculum and the CFA program and identify them and briefly explain them. Okay, there's no restrictions there. On the other hand, if they tweak the question a little bit, and they've done this before, they could ask the same question, identify and briefly explain two advantages of a pure bond indexing strategy, but then they can change it and just say, as per Gupta's current portfolio. Well, now you just can't cite anything from the readings of the curriculum. Now you need to cite two advantages of a pure bond indexing strategy, strategy as it specifically pertains to the portfolio in the case, in this case, Gupta's portfolio, okay? So you gotta be very careful. And then the third way that they could ask the same question, just tweak it again, and it completely affects the way you answer the essay, they could say, identify and briefly explain two advantages of a pure bond indexing strategy other than stable returns and diversification, for example. Then you would need to provide two other advantages that are cited either in the case or in the readings, but they cannot touch on the aspects of diversification or stable returns if that's what's cited in the readings. So you need to give two other ones. So you need to be very careful how you answer these essays. And I highly recommend segregating your answers when you type on the exam. Show them the identification, show them separately the briefly explanation of each one that you identified and leave it at that. You don't, should not write paragraphs or keep writing and writing and writing because that's only going to take away from the quality of your answer. Get to the point. That's why they call it constructive responses. They're not true essays. They're constructive responses, kind of like short answers, but you want to get targeted right at the answer, bring it out, show the grader what they're looking for, and then move on with the next essay. And if you continue to pursue that kind of strategy throughout the exam, 
you should have hopefully no trouble and you'll get that score that you're looking for and your grades will and your grades as they apply to the essays will be quite high okay one little tip if you have any questions you can always reach out to me at chalk and board you can visit my website at chalkandboard.org that's c h a l k a n d b o a r d.org and i'd be happy to answer your questions have a great evening and good luck to you on the level 3 exam